it's 100% normal for us to not know what we need to do in order to achieve our goals, our dreams and our desires. And we can be in the realm of the unknown and not knowing what to do next or who to talk to or what steps or action steps to take to achieve our goals, dreams and desires. And so Marie Folio has a really powerful saying and the saying is everything is figure outable. Now I've been running an online business for the past 14 years and I've helped a lot of people transform their lives. And it can be a journey of challenges and frustrations and disappointment in trying to build a business and make it successful and following your dream life. And Marie Folio is someone on my journey that really supported me in uh, reaching my goals through her content on YouTube and her blog. And if you wanna go, go ahead and check out her channel, the link will be in the description where you can go ahead and check that out. Hey boss, it's Gavin here, and I help people change their brain so they can grow their income and their impact. And I've been lucky enough to help people shift their mindsets so that they can go on to make six and seven figures in their business. I've been able to help people overcome procrastination, resistance, self-doubt, lack and limitation and basically help them become that 2.0 version of themselves so that they can create the reality that they want automatically. And if you're someone that wants to become my next success story, check the link in the description to get my free training on how to change your brain so you can grow your income and your impact. So what does everything is figure outable actually mean? It basically means there's an answer to everything out there and we just have to go out and find it. Everything is figure outable. And Marie actually came up with this concept from her mom where her mum, uh, you know, knew how to do a multitude of different things. Her mum was superwoman. She knew how to fix things. She knew how to get things done. And she was just a very all round productive person. And so Marie asked, how, how do you know how to do all of this stuff? And basically she said, well, when you put your mind to something, you know, you can figure out, you know, how to do it. And so then she went on to say that everything is figure outable. Everything can be figured out. So if you have internal resistance, if you have fear, if you have doubt, if you don't know what steps to take towards your goals, everything is figure outable. There's a solution out there. So one of the main things that stand out in the book is she talks about basically mindset. She talks about how your beliefs create your results in life. And when you can change your beliefs, your results will change. If you go a little bit deeper, if you change your identity or your personality, your results will change in life. One of the things that really stands out, she talks about excuses, and I actually talk about this on this channel as well, how every limiting belief that you have, every subconscious block, every um, belief that you have, they literally, they manifest as excuses, you say them in your brain as internal dialogue or you say it out loud, that I don't have enough time, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough energy, can I do it? How am I gonna get it done? The excuses that we come up with are usually limiting beliefs. And what we have to begin to do is begin noticing our limiting beliefs, begin noticing when we're stopping ourselves and then in, instead saying, well, everything is figure outable. How can I create more time? How can I have more energy? How can I get the money that I want to you know, start this business or whatever it is? Because when it comes to time, maybe not watching Netflix, not being on your phone so much, maybe um, compressing things where you do two things at once, listening to an audio book whilst washing the dishes or uh, listening to an audio book or going for a course whilst you're driving to and from work. Um, maybe you want to create a YouTube channel and you're waiting for it to be perfect and you, you want the right camera kit, you want the right lens and all of this. These are all belief systems. These are all limiting beliefs stopping you from achieving a goal because you know, if you want to start a YouTube channel, then simply all you have to do is use your mobile phone and record whilst you're in your car on your lunch break. You know, you have to find solutions to getting it done. I don't have enough money. Well, if you're saying I don't have enough money, you can get a loan, there's credit cards, you can borrow from people. If you believe in your goal enough, then you'll take out loans because that's something that I did, that's something that a lot of my friends have done in business. They, they borrowed money, they loaned money, they done what they could in order to achieve their goals. And if you're afraid to ask for money, if you're afraid to do these things, it shows the limiting belief, the fear of, you know, maybe I don't succeed at this. Maybe I fail at this. Maybe I fall flat on my face and I'm gonna be embarrassed and that I won't be able to pay people back. 
it shows your belief systems and it shows what's holding you back. I don't have enough energy. If you don't have enough energy, find out how to get more energy without drinking like loads of caffeine and stuff, obviously doing it in a very healthy way. And just through studying health, you can improve your vitality, your energy, and you could be more productive and have more energy to get more stuff done. And looking at how perhaps the benefits of how you, it affects your children or how you treat people and stuff like this, because energy affects your mood. So the key here is to commit to not making excuses. And I can tell you, me surrounding myself with financially successful people, people who are helping a lot of people, that's one of the main things that they have within their mindset, that there's no excuses on why you can't achieve your dreams, your goals and desires. Everything is figure outable, find a solution. The second thing that is spoken about in the book is this feeling and emotion of fear. Fear can be very paralyzing and I know exactly what it feels like to be paralyzed and not be able to take action. And there's a lot of speakers and teachers, including Marie Folio, that say, you know, just reframe um, fear into excitement. Um, you know, just, just, just push through it. Just, you know, go make it happen. Step outside of your comfort zone. You know, that's easier said than done. You know, when you have deep core fears, um, for example, um, I've had belief systems inside of my subconscious mind that says, well, when I become successful, someone's going to die from that. And I don't know how I came up with that particular belief, but I had that in my subconscious mind. And so why would I take action? Why would I move forward if I've got that in my subconscious mind? That if I achieve success, something bad's gonna happen to someone else. I'm not willing to take action so that some something bad happens to someone else. I don't want other people to feel bad or be hurt or die. Like if I have that belief system, it's very paralyzing. And so it's not about pushing through that. It's about actually pulling that limiting belief out and uh, creating a new uh, belief system so that you can move forward and make progress. Now, everyone's different, everyone's brought up differently, and maybe in Marie Folio's case, you didn't have those deep core beliefs. For me, I grew up in a really rough neighborhood. I was around like crime and you know people being stabbed and like all of this kind of stuff. And so this environment you know, creates a certain belief system, right? And so I'm not saying that's the same for you, but maybe you was in a violent environment. Maybe, you know, your mom or your dad got abused or, you know, things like this. And that affects you. Some things can be very traumatic if you're in a narcissistic relationship, for example. Um, you've been through that and you've been through pains and traumas. It's going to affect your ability to take action and move forward and make progress in your life. So it's not as easy as saying, hey, just push through the fear or, you know, reframe fear into excitement because it can be very paralyzing. However, it is a very powerful point that you want to reframe your fears into excitement. So you, when you feel that sense of anxiety within your body, when you feel that, that sense of, ooh, like I'm a little bit afraid of that, then reframe that into excitement rather than calling it fear and like, I don't want to do it. Shift it in your mind as I'm excited. I, like I, I can't wait to get this done. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing how I achieve this or I'm looking forward to making mistakes because that's a lot of, what a lot of people are afraid of is making mistakes. I'm looking forward to figuring it out, you know, things like this. And so when you can reframe it in your mind, and you can position it in your mind as something different, framing it as excitement rather than fear and anxiety, it makes a little bit of a shift and it can help you push through and get stuff done. However, I do recommend reprogramming your identity so that you no longer have a deep rooted fear. So if you're someone that feels like they're just totally procrastinating, you've tried everything and nothing's worked for you, then definitely check out my training. The link will be in the description on how to change your brain so you can grow your income and your impact. The third takeaway from the book is not being a perfectionist about things and not waiting for things to be perfect. We kind of spoke about this in tip number one, but basically we want to be at the point where we are making progress over getting things perfect. And one of the things that people do is when they meet a roadblock, when they meet a challenge or they're facing some sort of challenge on their journey, they just retreat and go backwards and think, you know, I might as well give up or it's too hard or it's too challenging. And this kind of mindset uh, keeps you where you're at. And what we have to do is realize that challenges and problems is a part of the journey. We want it to be pretty and nice and like, I'm just gonna take action and things are gonna go our way and I'm not gonna meet any roadblocks. But a part of success, a part of building a business 
is going through those ups and downs, going through those challenges. So it builds you, it grows you into a different person. It grows you into becoming a better version of yourself. And that's one of the most rewarding things about building a business and helping a lot of people and changing people's lives is that in order to achieve that, you need to become better. And so when you meet a roadblock, when you meet a challenge, it's about breaking through that and realizing that growth is on the other side. And when growth comes, guess what happens? Income comes, helping more people comes, doing more of the things that you love comes from that. And so we have to begin to look at the benefits of taking action and pushing through this thing and not allowing roadblocks to stop us. So many of us can have this perfectionist kind of mindset and wanting things to be perfect. And what I would suggest is that just get it going. You don't have to get it right, you just have to get it going. We've been taught our whole lives that we need to get things right. You know, in school, you gotta get the tick, right? <laughs> you gotta get those ticks, you gotta get those good grades and all this stuff. And so we think, you know, by you know making videos or going out there and trying what it is, we, we need to get good grades, we need to get it perfect, we need to get it right. And having a perfectionist mindset can be good in a way, but it can also be paralyzing. So in the beginning, when you're just starting out, work towards becoming perfect rather than being perfect in the beginning. Because every day, every second that you're focused on being perfect is wasting time on your progress and momentum towards your goals, your dreams and desires. Also, when you meet roadblocks, don't ask, oh, how do I do this? Ask who is already doing it? Because the who has the solution to your problem. Okay, who can help me achieve this goal faster and easier? That's why you wanna hire coaches and mentors, invest into courses and programs, because that's what's gonna accelerate your success. Yes, we can figure things out for ourselves, but if we say everything is figure out, well, I'm gonna figure it out for myself, it's a slow process to achieving what you want. Whereas if you go and hire someone who's already been there and done it, that's gonna help you achieve your success much faster. If you find the right person, if you find someone for you that's gonna take you to your goal much quicker, why wouldn't you invest in yourself? You know you have roadblocks, you know you have internal resistance, you know you have fears and anxieties, you know you're not quite sure how to get there, so why not get the support that you need in order to get to where you want and create the lifestyle that you want? Now, Marie Folio talks about beliefs, and beliefs create results. And I'll go a step further and say identity creates results, meaning your personality, who you are as a person, operates in a certain way automatically, right? You can't help but be you. But what if you couldn't help but take action? What if you couldn't help by stepping outside your comfort zone? What if you couldn't help but be excited about life and getting stuff done? What if you couldn't help but be productive? What if you couldn't help but be organized? What if you couldn't help but be happy all of the time? What if you couldn't help but do these things and it was just a part of your personality? That's what you wanna do, you wanna shift yourself on an identity level. And if you wanna learn how to do that and you wanna take your life and your business to the next level, check out my free training. The link will be in the description on how to change your brain so you can grow your income and your impact. And check out this video on how to train your brain to make more money. And remember to keep learning, keep growing, keep expanding, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.